Hi, readers. This week, we are going to read about a new topic, fruits and plants. And before we begin reading our first article this week, I want you to take a look at this photograph. And I want you to think about, what do you see? What do you think? And what do you wonder? OK? So let's take a minute and let's think about those things that we are seeing, thinking, and wondering. So let's share some of those things that we see. What do you see when you looked at this photograph? When I looked at the photograph, I see apples on a tree. What about thinking? What are you thinking when you look at this photograph? Hmm. Well, maybe like me, you think that they taste good. Mm-hmm. And what about wondering? What questions do you have from looking at this photograph? As I was looking at this photograph, I wonder how long it takes for an apple to grow. So readers, let's take those things that we were seeing in the photograph and thinking and wondering about with us as we read our first article. But before that, let's take a look at our focus word for this week. Our focus word is the word fruit. When you hear the word fruit, how many syllables do you hear in the word fruit? So maybe like me, you clapped it out, fruit. How many syllables? Yeah, one syllable in the word fruit. Now let's try and stretch out that word fruit. What sounds do you hear? in the word fruit when you stretch it out. We hear f, r, u. And the last sound we hear is t, t. And what letter makes the t, t sound? Yes, t makes the t sound. F, r, u, t. So readers, Let's take out our meaning mappers now. So you may have a piece of paper to jot down words that you think of when you hear the word fruit. Or maybe you have a virtual meaning mapper. Let's take that out now. And think about one word or many words that you think of when you hear it and why. So when I thought about the word fruit, a word that came to my mind is the word trees, okay? After all, a fruit is the part of a plant that has seeds and flesh. Most fruits that people eat are sweet. And a lot of fruits grow on trees. So that's why the first word that I thought of when I hear the word fruit is the word trees. What words did you think of? So readers, we're now ready to begin reading our article a day, which is titled Apples All Around. And as we read this text closely, I want us to think about what apples can be used to make. Okay, so read along with me as we read through Apples All Around. An apple is a fruit. Most apples are juicy and sweet. How can you eat an apple? You can bite into a fresh apple. Crunch. So readers, take a minute and take out your imaginary apple and practice biting into that apple with me. You ready? Mmm, tasty.
You can have applesauce as a healthy snack. You can eat an apple muffin or a piece of apple cake. You can have apple pancakes for breakfast. You can drink apple juice. It is sweet. You can try some apple pie. It smells good as it bakes. Can you smell that apple pie? Hmm. Did you know there were so many ways to eat apples? Hmm. So readers, let's take a moment now and take out our book of knowledge or perhaps a piece of paper. And let's get ready to think about two or three things that you learned from reading this article, Apples All Around. And you, if you'd like, you can use this sentence starter to write down what you learned. Apples can be used to make, mmm. Take a minute and think about that and jot down what you learn in your book of knowledge. Now, as I was thinking about this book that we read the article, Apples All Around, I thought of apples can be used to make drinks and foods. What did you learn from reading this article? And I bet you also saw my drawing of an apple and I use my apple to show that it can be used to make juice. So readers, now that we've thought about what we learned from this article a day, let's take a look back at our meaning mappers. Let's get our meaning mappers out. And after reading this article, were there any new words that you thought of when you hear the word fruit? And think about how that word connects to the other words on your meaning mapper now. As we ran on, I thought about our focus word fruit. And I thought about the word seeds. And I put down the word seeds because trees are grown from seeds. What word did you put down that you connected to the word fruit or other words in your meaning mapper? Hey readers, great job today. And join me next time as we read more about our focus topic, fruits and plants. Thank you.